Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I want to show you guys how to use color palettes and how to import new color palettes into GIMP. So color palettes come in their own windows. There's two windows for it, and you open both windows at the same time by going up to Windows, Docker Bowl Dialogs, and then scrolling down to Palettes down here right below Gradients. So the two windows are the Palettes window and the Palettes editor. So the Palettes window is where you create new palettes or select an already existing palette so that you can use it inside of your document. So if we want to select a color palette for use, then we simply left click on it once. And then when we go over on the palette editor, the color palette will be brought into here so that you can select any of the colors that you want to use. If you want to create your own custom color palette, then you click on the Create a New Palette button in the Palettes window. So I can hit New Palette here and give it a name. So I will call this uh, Tutorial Palette. In the bottom right hand corner of the palette editor, you can see a little grid. If you change the number from zero, you'll start setting the number of columns for this color palette. So you might want to set that as a number like 8 or 16. If we go take a look at other color palettes, you can see that they have many columns. That looks about 16 right there. So going back to our tutorial palette with a left click. So if we want to start building this tutorial palette out now, I simply need to select colors either from the color picker for foreground and background color. Or if we had an image to work with, we could use the control button to start using the color picker tool and grabbing colors from around our image and creating a color palette from that. So regardless of how you choose your colors, whenever you have them selected, you can drag them over to the tutorial palette. So I'm going to select a few colors and keep dragging them in one at a time. And this will pretty much build out the palette. You might decide that some of these colors you don't want in the end, so you can select any color and then hit the delete entry button if you want. And now to start painting with the color palette, we just need to select the color from the palette, use the brush tool, start drawing over our image. And that's pretty much the idea. Now, how do you actually import color palette? So in GIMP, you can either import color palettes as a specific GPL file, which is a GIMP palette file, or as a more general format, you could import a PNG or JPEG file that has all of the colors you want to work with. So in color palette websites such as lowspec.com, specifically for pixel art, they'll give you a variety of formats. So you can use these PNG images, um, which will give you basically a tiny image that looks just like this, or you can import a .gpl file. So if you want to import a palette using the PNG method, then first you need to add your image to the document. So to bring in the color palette as a PNG, I'm going to drag and drop this PNG image onto the document as its own layer. If you're going to be doing this method, then this should be the only file that's included because it's going to be getting all of the colors from your image. And we only want to import precisely the colors that are in this color palette in exactly the order that the color palette provides. So next we need to go over to the palettes window, not the palettes editor, and right click anywhere and do import palette. So to take the color palette that now exists in our document from this PNG image imported as a layer, we simply click on image and you'll be able to see a preview of the palette is right up there with exactly the colors we were looking for. So we can set a name for the palette. In this case, it is called uh, Tranquil Fantasy and we can set the number of columns. So I'll do eight here. So that makes it a nice uh, three rows of eight colors for a total of 24 colors. If we want, we can set a number of colors to limit it, but I'll just leave it open for right now and hit import. And now our color palette gets brought in here. Tranquil Fantasy, so just left click on that. And you can see all of our colors now exist there. And now this color palette will be there if we want to use it on any GIMP document. So going back over to this logo, we can select a color and start using the brush tool on that. So the other method of importing the color palette using a GPL file, let's show that real quick. So I'm going to temporarily delete the Tranquil Fantasy color palette by right clicking on it and doing delete palette. And now I'm going to right click once again, anywhere, doesn't matter where, as long as it's in this little palettes window, import palette. And now instead of image, we want to choose palette file. So you need to locate this on your computer. I'm going to my desktop where I have downloaded the Tranquil Fantasy GPL uh, color palette file. Just hit open and the colors will be loaded up here in the preview window. If you want, you can rename the color palette. But note that unlike with the image color palette importer, you don't get to control number of colors, columns, or intervals. All of that information is already stored in the .gpl file for you. 
So go ahead and hit import and the color palette is there for you once again. We can go over to the palette editor and we can start using our color palette. So that's just about everything you need to know about color palettes in GIMP, including importing external color palettes. Once again, if you want some fun pixel art color palettes, then lowspec.com slash palette dash list is a really great resource for checking those out. And you can see many examples of some pixel art that people have been able to create with those. So that's pretty much going to be it for this simple GIMP video on color palettes. I hope you guys learned a bit. I've been Chris. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys in my future video content.